it's really exciting to be working in waste management because waste management, I see it as a sector that is at its infancy. If you look at landfill rates all over the world, you're going to find that they reach up to 70%. And this is a clear indication that we're really at the start of a journey of the transition from a linear economy to a circular economy. Environment Adapt is a waste management technology company that was founded 10 years ago with an objective to digitize the full waste value chain in Egypt and the Philippine countries. We have developed a waste management platform that integrates with multiple data sources, collecting data from SAP at plants, recycling plants, from in-fleet GPS or, or management tools. It also integrates with our mobile app that collects data from the on-ground operations through task and resource management. All this data is highly secured through our blockchain database. We focus on three pillars, economic, social and environmental, because of the nature of waste management in Egypt, which involves working with the informal sector. The informal sector are extremely efficient. Countries where uh, they have informal markets in underdeveloped or developing countries, you are most likely to find there a high quality post-consumer material for your recycling plants. We try to raise the standards of the informal sector. This involves things like introducing PPEs in the process, which helps to ensure that uh, the safety of the workers. Our work also with the government, making sure that we're aligned with the new laws and that we help enable the new laws by working with multiple stakeholders. قانون المخلفات عرف الإدارة المتكاملة للمخلفات بأنها كل العمليات اللي هي تبتدي من الجمع النقل التدوير المعالجة. Due to the lack of regulation in the informal sector, you cannot force a specific flow of work. Each working station and each organization they work with their own flow. Most of them try to find loopholes in the system, which helps us to have one platform that can monitor and trace the full value chain of waste management until it reaches the recycling facilities. That helps us in waste classification, detecting anomalies, to figure out if there's something out of trend happening. We trace uh, three different types of materials. We trace plastic, we trace HDPE, and we trace Tetra Pak as well. Our promise is to protect what's good, protect food, people, and the planet. That's why we took the lead in Egypt to empower the sustainability agenda by joining forces with Uniboard Paper Mill to invest in the first uh, recycling line of carton packages in Egypt. This investment is bring facility uh, to recycle 8,000 tons per year of carton package with a total investment of 2.5 million euros. And of course, Environ as the main project manager to digitalize and go for digital transformation for the pilot to bring more data. We're working closely with them on a pilot project to test how this material can be collected and to gather enough data about how it's collected, providing the dashboards and providing the insights for our clients to be able to document the process and also to track where the material is being collected from and having insights on how much waste they're diverting from coastal areas, for example, and land areas or the delta and the Nile. Part of the services that we provide our clients with is traceability of post-consumer material in order to help them have predictive decisions. Since we have started our traceability journey, we currently hold the largest market share of the traceability industry. Uh, with the refresh strategy, we actually started to focus more and more about recycling and collection, not just doing initiatives that are scattered, but have a concrete strategy in Egypt that is actually working towards our global goals as well. Coca-Cola in Egypt has been working also on the main pillars of the sustainability strategy and wanting to reach 100% in 2030 of collection and recycling. I think we actually enhanced this journey through our partnership with Environ, dealing with the development of the socio-economic standards of the waste pickers uh, working in the informal sector and making sure that this is digitized and traceable as well so we can understand the market more and benefit from the work that is being done with our partners as well. One of our partners was Hipka that we've done a lot with in Hergada and the Red Sea as well. I started in the diving business. That led to this love to the conservation and the protection of the Red Sea. The growth of tourism, we call it excessive development, 
uh, on the coastline of the Red Sea led to big amounts of waste that went into the sea, which is very harmful to marine life. This moment came the idea for HEPCA to go into solid waste management. We started a small pilot of collecting organic waste separately from solid. The problem of plastic is how you actually handle plastic and how you recycle plastic. We also provide them with economic incentives so that they can cooperate and adopt our system. We have also citizens and residents that we need to involve. We need to raise consumer awareness. We need to involve the residents in the process of waste management. Our launch of Dawar app in 2018 was an example of that, where we allowed residents to take photos of street waste and make sure that the waste is collected and involve the residents in the waste management process. So what we do at Environ is about connecting these stakeholders and involving them in the solution. So we're really excited about this next project and about future projects.